Yo guys, my gaming is Matt. I'm back with the Canon camera. Um, I'm gonna try something different today. Um, yeah, YouTube's been going okay. Uh, it's been more live streams rather than a video. Uh, something I feel passionate about, um, and it's just a new sort of idea I've got. Um, I'm gonna be previewing Monday Night Raw, which is WWE, every Monday. Um, I want predictions, I want things like that. I want this to be an active series. I'm a big fan of wrestling. Um, you can hate me in the comments, call me a pussy, whatever you want. Um, but I really do feel strongly about the WWE. Um, it's a good sort of role model, sort of the people to have. And they're a great company and help out so many causes and things like that. So hate me, do we want in the comments, but I don't give a shit. Okay, so tonight, big news. I've waited two whole months for this. Um, as you know, the man, the face who runs the place is coming back. You know who he is. It's Mr. John Cena. And he is back tonight on Memorial Day today, on the 30th tonight. I'll probably be watching it even later tonight or sort of tomorrow in the morning. Um, so, yeah. Um, John Cena returns tonight. My question, sort of prediction-wise, and, and what, what to expect, what are the WWE going to do? You know, they've got this new, let's say, management. Let's say Shane McMahon, Stephanie McMahon. The split is coming, so something's got to give. Will Cena be taking over SmackDown, or will he be Monday Night Raw? For me, he's got to be Mr. Monday Night Raw. I think Roman should go over to SmackDown. And I think Cena should be the man on Raw because he always has been. And he's been in SmackDown before and it didn't really work. So I'd rather, people would rather see him on Raw because it's bigger, obviously. Um, and what's going to happen tonight? As we know, Rusev is the United States champion. Um, you know, things like that. Um, will Cena challenge him and get back what he rightly owns? Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to go down that route. Maybe they should. Or are they going to be predictable again and sort of, you know, he's going to enter himself into the money in the bank match and win it, probably. Um, I mean, he's the only man to cash in and, and not gain the championship. The only man in history, so uh, maybe that won't suit him. Maybe he'll go down the champion, sort of United States Championship match. Um, the rumours are someone will interrupt him tonight. Um, who that could be. Could it be Big Cass, Enzo Amore, thinking they're bigger than him, you know, bigger boots and they can trash talk. Um, it could be the VOD villains, they could have to do a surprise attack. It could be anyone. Um, yeah, he's my favourite wrestler. I couldn't find the Cena shirt today, for some reason my mum may have put it in the wash. Stupid woman. And, um, yeah. But I'm wearing the Brock Lesnar t-shirt, um, Suplex City. Um, then my question to you is, you know, what's going to happen with Brock? When is he coming back? You know, there's no really lot, lot of news on him. Um, yeah, things like that. Um, where's Paul Heyman? You know, we haven't seen him for a while. Where is Brock Lesnar? Will they be returning soon? I mean, SummerSlam's not too far away. Um, also, we're, you know, we're waiting for the return of Randy Orton. We want the Viper back. He needs to come back. Um, you know, we've got Seth Rollins back, which is fantastic. And, you know, every, he fooled everyone and, and he thought he was going to be a good guy. But no, he went back to his old ways, which is fantastic. You need a guy like him. Uh, he makes a great villain, or Captain Morgan. Um, I'd like to see him and John Cena have another few. That'd be fantastic. Um, you know, him and Roman Reigns, that'd be a hell of an interesting fight. My prediction, maybe for Money in the Bank, is Dean Ambrose wins it. He interrupts the triple threat. Uh, triple threat. He interrupts the Roman Reigns during when there's a pivotal part of the match Dean Ambrose comes out flying out turns a match into a triple threat and money in the bank and it turns into a um, triple threat match and I think he'll go on and then he goes on and cashes in to win that could be something because that's Dean Ambrose very erratic very psychotic but that's what we like about him um, if you know I just saw one like that there is a spider in my room um I will get that. Um, just not now. You're not going to scare me. Um, so yeah, what's going to happen with Big Cass and Enzo Amore this week? Um, yeah, what's going to happen with the Dudley Boys? Um, I'm quite looking forward to seeing uh, Gold Dust and and our truth. Um, 
the golden truth. So that would be nice to see them win. Um, what's going to happen with the New Day? What's their new sort of challenge? I mean, one of the most entertaining tag teams I think I've seen maybe since a D-Generation X, someone like that. Um, but yeah, there's my sort of predictions and preview of Monday Night Raw. It's going to be one fancy, it's going to be one hell of a night, one hell of a Raw. I can't wait to see you, Cena. Uh, we've all missed you so much. You know, people hate you, but you know, you, they've got to admit he's been missing in Monday Night Raw. And if you say he hasn't, then you're not really a true wrestling fan because you know the viewership has been down. It's been nice to see the old the new talent coming through, like uh, Polo. Polo Cruz, I think he's going to be fantastic. Um, but like so many other WWE superstars, we've had Bobby Lashley, he was fantastic, and then he just disappeared. So I'm hoping they don't go down that route. Um, there's sort of rumours with Stephanie McMahon's overtaking Raw with the brand, brand split and Shane getting SmackDown. Uh, maybe I'd like to see Shane run Raw and Stephanie run SmackDown. Um, but we will see at the end of the day, it's up to Vince McMahon and Triple H. Um, and biasly, you know, it's family. They're probably going to go with her for Raw. She's done it for a while. Um, but hopefully she doesn't bring the authority back because it's working well now with WWE. Um, we saw Thumbtacks the other night in the Asylum match, which I thought was fantastic. Uh, there's been more blood in WWE recently, so it's almost going back to the old sort of ways, which is good. And they're getting more viewership and uh, more adults are sort of turning in to watch it. Um, so let me get guys know what you think. Uh, more videos will be coming out soon. Um, probably going to be looking to do another FIFA pack opening, so live stream, so probably look out for that. Check out the live stream we did the other day, we did pack a blue, check that out. Um, Carl will be down soon, I'm aiming to do football videos soon with a couple of mates and Carl, things like that. Um, and maybe, let me know what sort of challenge videos you want, you know, we want to, you know, I see some YouTubers who don't make very, the best content, um, and they've got 3,000 subscribers. I know we don't make the best, but we are sort of trying, and we want to improve. Things like that. So let me know what you guys think of this new idea slash series, and uh, we will see you tonight. Mr. Hustle Loyalty and Respect is back. Peace and see ya.